So let's see. The first card is um, the prize. So it looks like you're going to be victorious in something. There's a celebration coming up. There's a nice little bottle of champagne there. And you've got that trophy cup over there. So you're winning something or you're achieving some kind of goal and you're going to be celebrating about it. And it's got to do with money coming in. It's got to do with a lot of, maybe a lot of travel. Now, new shoes uh, indicate, uh, you know, uh, an improvement in your status. Um, so it looks like whatever this is that you're celebrating, uh, you know, it's going to improve um, your financial status, uh, you know, bring you up in the world. People used to be judged by uh, the shoes that they wore, you know, you could see what um, they, what their profession was just looking at their shoes. So it looks like there's going to be some kind of uh, brand uh, new beginnings for you or an achievement coming in that's going to improve your status in life. You've got the teeth cards there, you're being very, very happy, uh, you know, a, a lot of smiling, a lot of um, communication also coming in for you. Be careful of people in the background that are, uh, you know, speaking behind your back, hidden enemies, uh, you know, um, people are not saying nice things about you. So there's always that element of jealousy that is creeping in a little bit over here. But all in all, you're smiling quite a bit and you're pretty happy about this achievement that you're about to um um, have and also you know there's a lot of communication coming in for you as well and happy communication as well so you've got the gift over here uh, you know there might have been some kind of um, gift that you received uh, so something unexpected coming in for you in the past few months and you've got the shell over here um, you know this is about um, you know, this could be about money, money coming in, because in the past, shells used to be used as, as a form of finance, a form of money. And it could have been something that coming in from an international basis. So this is something to do with your work. This is also about maybe, um, you know, maybe buying a new home, maybe new stability as well, coming in with that shell. <coughs> now, going into the future, you've got indigo over here, and this uh, indicates... Um, your third eye chakra being activated. So that means that, you know, you're getting a lot of insight into uh, whatever that situation is. There might be a lot of uh, messages coming in for you. So you could be getting a lot of dreams, uh, and these are very, very insightful dreams, uh, and you are going by your instincts. So um, you are um, well on fire here uh, with this uh, third eye uh, being activated. You're seeing the bigger picture, and, uh, you know, um, you're letting go of worry as well uh, because you're now starting to see things from a different perspective. It's a very spiritual um, card and it's also about, you know, seeing uh, things for what they really are. And that's being activated at the moment. You've got the playing cards over here. So, you know, this is almost like the wheel of fortune coming and working in your favor to get you through difficult situations. Um, and uh, it looks like, uh, you know, things are about to change uh, for the better for you. You are definitely taking control. You've got this nice, um, you know, um, it, it's the king of swords over here. So, you know, you are more in charge of whatever is going on over there. Uh, you're moving away from any difficult situations there uh, with that um, eight of hearts as well being exposed. So, um, you know, you're leaving that, uh, you know, difficult situation behind and you are moving forward. There could have been some kind of legal decision that is being made. This could have been, um, you know, a legal decision being made and you have victory in that because you've got that king of swords on that particular card. So it looks like, you know, you did go through a bit of a problem over here. Uh, you know, looking at the playing cards at the bottom over here. You've got that uh, three of hearts over here. So, you know, collaborating with people, that um, three of clubs over there, uh, talking about, um, you know, it's like three of rods, uh, making new plans for the future as well. And new money coming in with that jack of diamonds there, um, you know, and having a lot of options available for you. Uh, so investing a lot more time, uh, investments paying off as well. And, um, you know, you've got that 10 of clubs over here in the corner. So being able to let go of any kind of burdens, um, any kind of responsibilities, that cycle is now coming to an end. Uh, and, you know, you're able, gonna, you've got an, a lot of good ideas as well. And you've got a lot of plans or things that you want to invest your time, effort and energy in. Because you've even got that 7 of hearts there. So, you know, altogether all a very, very nice card to get. So whatever legal decisions that have, you know, or legal issues that you're facing, it looks like there's going to be definitely uh, a victory in it for you. And that's going to, you know, make you very, very happy. So those are the energies for that week. So 
I'm just going to draw some cards from the Parrot Tarot. And I have put this deck in the description box. It's also a very beautiful deck. A very unusual deck. So at the bottom of deck, you've got the pleasure card over here. So, uh, you know, this is about um, uh, focusing all your attention on uh, something that you want and something that you're very happy with. Um, you've got the sun in a Scorpio. So something that you desire a lot is coming into your arena right now with this pleasure card. Um, and, you know, the, all that focus is going to be on doing something that you really love. Now, with the Six of Cups, it's also about, you know, something emerging from the past, uh, this could even be a new offer, uh, maybe a new offer of love or even a new job offer coming in. But it, it is with somebody that you used to know in the past. The Six of Cups also deals with, uh, you know, spending a lot more time um, with family, a lot more happiness coming in. So it's, you know, relying on people from your past to get you over, uh, you know, the Five of Cups, which was disappointment and regret. And this is now emerging and seeing the bigger picture. So really coming out of the darkness, but, uh, you know, relying on people around you to help you or relying on somebody from the past or even an offer coming in from somebody from the past. Like I said, that offer could be a love offer or it could even be a work offer, but something coming in for you. And you can see there's an offer definitely on the cards here because you've got the mentor of cups over here. You can see uh, this um, man giving this woman the cup and it's the ace of cups. So a brand new begin beginning coming in. She's making music. So it's going to be something that's really good, something that makes you really, really happy and something that allows you to emerge from all that emo emotional turmoil that you have been going through. You can see half of her body is in the water, but her most of her body and her head is, uh, you know, out of the water. So whatever emotional blockages or emotional problems that you were dealing with, you are now going to be able to overcome. And this is going to be because somebody offers you that new uh, cup, that new cup of happiness. This could even be an offer for study uh, coming in for you, uh, or even a, a social invitation. So there's certainly some news coming in. And it's the mentor card. So whatever is uh, coming in for you is going to change your perspective about things. You have the nine of uh, swords over here, which is the cruelty cup, uh, cruelty card. And you've got Mars, which is, you know, really uh, about negative, aggressive energies. Gemini, uh, you know, uh, is ruled by Mercury. And this could be also about harsh thinking, harsh thoughts going on over there. So you've been very, very anxious about everything that has been going on. And there's a lot of people that have been causing a lot of mental cruelty to you, causing a lot of problems. You can see there's a lot of blood and there's a lot of tears, you know, blood tears being fall. So whatever uh, they've been saying has, you know, hit home, has been, caused you a lot of emotional distress. And that is what you're dealing with at the moment. There may have been a lot of breakdown of communication and you expecting the worst case scenario to happen. So you're going through a lot of anxiety at the moment and a lot of stress at the moment but it looks like somebody's about to to change um things for you uh with this new offer coming in now you've got the seven of discs in the past so going through a period of failure and there was a period where you had a lot of uh, financial restriction and this is in the past you got saturn sitting in taurus here and, you know, this is about making investments of time, effort, energy into some kind of project that didn't pan out well at all for you. So you've gone through that kind of uh, problem. It, you know, you could have had also a lot of financial loss. Maybe, you know, you were promised something uh, on a financial basis and that was not given to you. Uh, so that is the card of loss and failure. Uh, and you've got the Prince of Swords over here. There might have been something illegal that you were dealing with as well. The Prince of Swords is usually about some harsh judgment being made. And this might have caused that, uh, you know, that loss, that failure. Uh, so there was some kind of legal decision or legal battle that you fought or you were waiting for some kind of legal news. And it was not very, very good news that came in for you. So now you're leaving that situation with the death card and you're walking away from it. You are now taking a different path. You are there 
are reaching the crossroads in your life or the fork in the road uh, you know there was a lot of emotional turmoil you've got the water, the, the river f flowing over your path so something uh, happened to you where you went through a lot of emotional turmoil and now you're changing your direction or changing things and leaving things behind this is definitely being playing on your mind you're cutting off things you've got that side over there cutting out all that negativity and going towards that new sunrise so starting something brand new and moving away from this past hurt uh, and anxiety that you have been going through so coming in for you is an excellent card you've got the, the the sun card over here so this is the card of victory and achievement uh you can see they're driving uh, they're riding the back of a lion so this is definitely getting control of that situation sorting out problems and you can see uh wonderful news coming in over here you've got this flag with these gold stars on it so whatever you've been working for it's like the wheel of fortune turning for you in the form of the sun bringing a lot of enlightenment and clarity but bringing in a lot of victory after all that hard work and you've got the wheel of fortune uh, in your um going on for you so things are definitely coming big changes are coming in this is the card that is ruled by uh, jupiter so this brings in luck and uh, you know happiness and brings in a positive change to the fortunes it's also a card of ending negative situations so all that that you've gone through is now coming to an end and you are now starting to move forward in a very very positive direction and big changes coming in for you the judgment card is also talking about big changes. So you are changing direction. You can see, uh, you know, with the judgment card is reaching also that fork in the road, leaving behind the negative past and moving forward, rising above that situation. And you are going to be very victorious in whatever new direction or pathway you choose as well. So what's in your mind? You've got the princess of wands. You are trying, um, you know, maybe you want to study uh, and you're trying to move away from everything that has been going on. Uh, you have got a lot of vision, a lot of insight as to what is happening. And you are now moving away from, um, you know, you want to move away from whatever has um, gone before you. Maybe, you know, traveling or even moving jobs or you're waiting for some kind of news to come in for some kind of new project to come in for you so you have definitely uh changing your energy and and trying to actually move forward now what's coming into the future you've got the queen of discs over here uh the eight of swords over here and the mentor of swords so the queen of discs talking about uh new job prospects coming in and you know a position of authority and definitely more money coming in there's an offer coming in you can see this uh, dragon making uh an offer of a pentacle to this queen so you're getting into a position where you're going to be in authority and uh you know new leadership as well coming in and money coming in with the queen of pentacles it's always about money uh, you know, achieving uh, good financial stability. You've got the interference card over here. So there are people around you that are still causing a lot of hassle and problems, maybe, uh, you know, still saying nasty things about you. Uh, you know, just watch out for that. And you don't have to listen to what anything, anything that they've got to say, you can ignore it because, you know, they don't know everything. So, you know, it's time for you to let go of all that, um, whatever they're saying might be very cruel. Just ignore what they're saying and move away from it. Uh, free your mind. And that is how you're going to be able to move forward. And then you've got the mentor of swords over there. Uh, so this is also maybe some legal news coming in. Uh, and also you having to take control of that situation. Whatever happened caused a break in your, uh, you know, maybe you had um, a path that you were following. It looks like there was a break in that path. Um, but now you're needing to take control of that situation. Um, and this is also being a bit more focused on, on things that happened it's almost like, you know, you need to shoot the past away in order for you to move forward and taking control with that Ace of Swords. So you are going to be victorious, but you need to take control of that situation. And it looks like you're getting some kind of um, uh, position that's going to be in authority. Um, this is also something where you might be signing some new contracts as far as work goes, and that starts you back on your path again, uh, you know, the where it had been broken it looks like victory is coming in and it looks like you know you're moving on now you're starting to achieve as well so i'm just going to draw some cards from the angel tarot so you've got the ace of water here so this is brand new beginnings uh some offer coming in over here so falling in love with the resurgence in a relationship spiritual growth um and uh enhanced intuition a new home so this could be moving on buying a new place but this could also be a you know new study coming in but there's definitely an offer that's going to bring in a lot more love uh, more, not more happiness in your life so something brand new coming in with that ace of water renewal you've got this uh, again in in the spread so you've got the judgment card over there twice and this is talking about re review and evaluate a favorable assessment 
uh, of facts and time to move in a new direction. So definitely making a change. And, uh, you know, you could be traveling. This is going over water. So this could be even, you know, moving away completely, Start you know, starting afresh somewhere else. Like I said, even buying a new home, but starting afresh somewhere else, uh, leaving the past behind and moving on forward and you've got the high priestess over here which says listen to your intuition have patience and consider carefully what you want before acting so keep uh, your information to yourself don't go around telling people what you want to do this could be an offer for new uh, study as well you could be taking on a role as a teacher as well uh, but also uh, the card that really um, says that you should uh, follow your intuition Follow your gut instincts and stop letting other people with that uh, eight of swords interfere in your life and tell you what to do. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And uh, it's very positive because you've got that sun card here. So things are going to are starting to look up and that wheel of fortune. So a positive change coming in. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.